finally, and we're going through our steps, uh, we want to look at the length of the seat. So the length of the seat is going to be from pommel to one of the panels. And we don't want the length of the seat to go past T18, which is the 18th thoracic vertebrae. Um, that's where the horse's last rib is connected to their spine. And that's going to be your saddle bearing area of their back. Once you get past there into the lumbar spine, this isn't going to be um, the weight bearing area. Uh, and you can cause the horse's back pain and discomfort if your saddle is coming past that lumbar area. So T18 is where you want the seat to stop. Um, and then all the while, while we're doing our saddle fitting, we want to watch our horse's response. And then when we're fitting statically, if the horse is objecting in any way or showing discomfort or pain, that's going to be an indicator of something's not fitting right. And then once the rider's up as well, it's very important to watch the horse's response, see how they're moving when you do the static fitting. But that's going to be all for our dynamic fit, or sorry, for our static. Oh. <sighs>